definitely a map that I haven't been able to feature here in Crossroads Strike. Now, this definitely was one of my go-to simply due to the size, but the map has limitations. It's not very good when it comes to slower paced weapons, which is exactly why I'm using the Bullfrog. I built this out to be super fast. In the large ammo capacity with a fast reload means I can play even faster. Now, when I play this map, you do run into situations like that where you got people who like to sit in the spawn, but with the right pace and as seeing as how the score line is eight to three at the moment, it's looking like we're having the right pace. Anybody else lingering? Doesn't look like it. Let's keep moving. I hear one. Where is he at? That's him. I hear him over here, actually. How we doing? Any corners? Any corners? No? Bam. Right up in him. Wait, that sounded sus. Cody. Where I have this built out isn't exactly good for long range. That's why I did just totally miss a lot of shots. Gonna keep it a stack with you. But we already got that artillery. We're cruising. All right, they got a spy plane. Let's find it. Okay, they're all over the tank. Let's get that down. Get our trophy out. Where are we going here? You running? You, you stop running? Thank you. Got a cruise missile. Whole team's dead, so we're going to hit this. All right, that's three dead. We are just cruising along here. Somebody's feeding this team spy planes. All right. That guy's running for the hills. Harp. Oh, I didn't mean to jo yoink your kill, brother. I'm sorry. We got a guy up top. We got a guy right here. Bam. Thanks for coming. Okay, they're below me here, so. Thanks for coming. Thanks for, no, you joined my kill, you joined my kills. I want the nuke, I want the nuke. I can't move. All right, we're gonna back up. Keep pushing because I think they are spawning there. Make sure we watch our bases. I maybe they're not. Maybe they're not. I hear them below me actually. I'm only on a 20. Not as good as I would have thought. There was a guy back here, but I yep, he just dead. Wait, I'm spawning with them. What the hell? Ah, I don't know if I'm locking a nuke in here. I don't think I'm locking in a nuke here. I'm going to keep pushing. I don't want to call in these streaks until I know I'm not getting it. Saw him. I need to regroup here. 27. They have an artillery. I'm going to jump in here quick. That's what I like to call a classic case of choking. That's all it was. A classic case of choking. There's no other description to it. Now, am I satisfied? 47? I will be if I lock in this 50. That's where I'll be satisfied. But you can see, basically the long story short is you have the super aggressive option here. That's the guy that killed me. That's unfortunate, man. 
No, that's the guy that killed me last time. Homie is on one. He just, he's accurate. That's what he's got going for him. He's not the fastest pace player, but man, is he accurate. And if I choke this. Do you want to know what I really noticed here? I'm starting to get my movement back. I'm not, I'm not even playing that much, but I am really starting to lock in the movement again. Because Cold War movement's a lot different than like MW3 or MW19, even MW2, obviously. The movement is so much different. This guy, this woolly guy has got my number and it's looking like that's going to be end game there. If I can, maybe I get the last kill. Thank you for calling. I didn't get it. Quick recording, quick gameplay, 56 kills, 14 KD. So something I actually didn't notice during that game is that Wooly guy was actually frying. He had 32 kills, which means he was beaming up my teammates, including me. I'm actually rather impressed. I mean, he's keeping good pace. If I wasn't frying like I was, chances are he would have had a 50 kill game himself. Remove me from that lobby and chances are he has a 50 kill game. So good for him. Let's get through these attachments. First attachment is the 7.1 inch extended to increase your bullet velocity. That really is the biggest downfall of the weapon. You can see our damage range is very good at 19.05 meters. So only thing that was really left to cover is that bullet velocity, bringing it up to 350 meters per second. Now down to an under barrel, I like to use the bruiser grip to increase your overall mobility. You can see we're gaining 3% to a lot of mobility factors there. And it's a big part of why I got around the map so quickly for our magazine. I like to use the vandal speed loader it does decrease your aim downside speed a little bit so you can go with the fast mag or the 65 round mag if you want to vandal is just my preference down here to an underbarrel the grew elastic wrap aim down sight speed flinch resistance ability to drop shot a pretty staple attachment here on the channel and then the kgb skeletal top stock which will increase your sprint to fire and aim walking speed increasing your mobility even further so here's going to be all your attachments on the screen if you guys wanted to pause and copy it down if you guys have any requests for weapons make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe as always i'll see you in the next one